The following report contains flash photography. President Obama has spent this week trying, not entirely successfully, to convince the international community that military action in Syria is the best way forward. Now, as he returns to Washington, his attention will turn to home. And I will make the best case that I can to the American people as well as to the international community for taking necessary and appropriate action. And I intend to address the American people from the White House on Tuesday. The kind of world we live in and our ability to deter this kind of outrageous behavior is going to depend on the decisions that we make in the days ahead. He has only a few days left to get politicians on his side before voting is expected to begin in Congress next week. His job isn't looking easy. Polls show most American people are against it, and Congress is sharply divided, with many politicians still undecided about which way they'll vote. People here don't need convincing about the violence and the killing that continues in Syria. These pictures show that all too clearly. But whether military action is the best way forward and what it will mean for America remains the sticking point. While the president's been out of the country, his administration has been keeping up the message. Any military action will be a meaningful, time-limited response to deter the regime from using chemical weapons again and to degrade its ability to do so. From the start of the Syrian conflict, the president has consistently demonstrated that he will not put American boots on the ground to fight another war in the Middle East. The draft resolution before Congress makes this clear. Mr. Obama said he knew it would be a heavy lift to persuade Congress. He's cancelled his previous plans on Monday and briefings continue. And the president plans to address the American people on Tuesday. That could be his last chance to shift public opinion and bring about the vote he needs. Katie Watson, BBC News, Washington.